Alex, when is alt season? You made a video last week saying that alt season was imminent. So where is it? It doesn't seem like alt season is imminent. It seems like we're going to go much lower. Okay. All right. So I made a video last week talking about alt season. I want to revisit that video um, and share with you that first of all, nothing has changed, but that I will also share with you what would change my perspective as to the fact that I do believe that we will be seeing some movement in alts, some significant, significant ish, and then very significant movements in alts. I think that we're going to see that very soon. Let me give some thoughts on that. But before we dive on in, this is not financial advice. This video is for entertainment purposes only. Please do your own research. I'm not a financial advisor. And while I appreciate that so many of you are hopping in here from all over the place, you've got to hit that subscribe button. I make price target videos. I don't make price target videos anymore. I need to stop saying that. I make videos as much as I can, try to go live as much as I can. Going live Monday, Wednesday, and Friday on YouTube. Members only live streams on Tuesday and Thursday. Hop on in, hit that subscribe button, turn on that notification button as well. But, okay, if you have not watched my first video, is alt season imminent, Ethereum, Solana, and he he ready to do something, ready to explode or something, check out that video. It's a 14 minute video. I make a case for why I believe that alt season is coming. Now, let's revisit some of the things that I share in that chart. But before we do that, I will show you the Bitcoin chart, the total two chart. But first of all, uh, here's a tweet that I just made yesterday. Bitcoin, three levels of support are meeting at a key area right now. The 100 day simple moving average always been a good support level during bull runs. Number two, the, the descending trend line, trend line, excuse me. We saw a support to resistant flip happen last week. That's a big reason I spelled happened wrong. Happened did, happened did last week. That's a big reason why um, after seeing this bounce last week that I have become more bullish, I was not super excited with what I was seeing price action wise, but a few things, that's one of them made me more bullish. The FOMC meeting was a big reason why I decided that I, I turned bullish and started thinking that people are going to be going risk on a lot more pretty soon. And then the all time high monthly close from 2021 that has served as the bottom of the range with a false breakout last week or breakdown of that range. So you could see we have this meeting point of these three points of support the the 100 week simple moving average if you can see the blue line right here i know it's dark i have a dark trading view uh, by popular demand i should say and when i made this tweet bitcoin was at sixty one thousand four hundred forty seven dollars and then within an hour or so it pumped well over sixty two thousand dollars so maybe this was the point this is what i was saying was the point to buy this is a fantastic point to buy lots of people calling for bitcoin Bitcoin to go to the, the low the mid 50s again I wasn't a buyer of that because there's so much support right here at these three levels of support the descending trend line you can see resistance 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 three times in a row three days in a row resistance another day of resistance right here resistance again but then finally breaking through the descending trend line testing it th on four different occasions as support it seems to me like this was the play and even Thursday I identified Thursday, yesterday, as the day when I would be looking for Bitcoin to get around that monthly high level of $61,411, and that's what happened. It, it certainly did wick below, but I did think that that was just going to be a wick, and that's that looks like how it's played out. And now Bitcoin has bounced. Okay, I'm making this video on Thursday. I'm publishing it on Friday. Who knows what's coming next? But my assumption is that when you are watching this video, that we are not going to be below $61,400. And if we are still, it could just be a wick. But here's my first point of invalidation as to whether or not I think alt season is coming. If we lose these three levels of support, I mean, this is just, this is the kind of thing that traders salivate over. This is where they want a long. They even want to short it to, to, until it gets to this point. And then they want to open some longs. I mean, there's so much confluence there that it just seems to me that $61,400, if you were able to get in on a long there for Bitcoin, that was the entry. But okay, if we do lose this, if we lose these three key levels of support, I don't see a reason why to be why why we should be bullish over the next two months. And my altcoin thesis would be invalidated. But that's not the only the only thing. My base case is we are going up, or that you know here's here's generally what I think is going to happen is that perhaps. 
<clears throat> we're going to start a new trend line riding really just riding along the 100 day EMA, but not EMA, SMA, but something like this. And we'll continue to climb higher. There will be wicks below, but I'm wondering <clears throat> If yeah, we're going to start a new trend up, that doesn't have to happen. We could certainly range for, for quite a while here, holding the monthly high, that $61,000 level as support. But considering the fact that the 100 day, day simple moving average would be moving up in this case for the time being, at least I would expect some support. I would expect the 100 day simple moving average to continue to hold as support and it's moving up. It's moving up pretty dramatically. So there's, there's number one, we lose all of this as support, then all of it's going to turn into resistance, including the 100 day simple moving average, which would eventually roll over and start trending down. I would expect that to take a few months to play out a couple months, at least the summer, you know, June, July being pretty rough, August being maybe a time that we would start to, to move back higher. So next thing that I would say is if we were to lose the bull market support band for the total two crypto market cap, if we lost the 0.5 fib, not the 0.5 fib, that's the 3.8, the, yeah, the 382 fib. If we lost the 382 fib where my mouse is, if you could see that, you know, you can see support at the bull market support band, support at the 382 fib. If we lose that, if we put in a lower low on total two, then in my opinion, that's just straight up a downtrend. But here's the same deal descending trend line, I would expect some resistance there and see where this goes. I mean, this drawing, see, you know, resistance, support, resistance, support, finally a breakthrough of resistance, just like what we've seen with Bitcoin, altcoins being a little bit, a few steps behind, retesting that as support. And then I've added some, some drawings here. It doesn't have to work out perfectly like this. This is just generally what I think is going to happen. But then some resistance at the 702 retrace, this is for the total two crypto market cap, some resistance at the 702 retrace, maybe that takes a few weeks. But here we are, we break through the 702 retrace, this is the end of July. And so is alt season imminent for me, hearing something about a potential breakthrough at the, of the total, you know, the 702 retrace with the total two crypto market cap by the end of July, that feels imminent. I know day by day that doesn't feel imminent, but just, you know, when I'm, when I'm laying this stuff out on the chart, this is just kind of my mentality, looking at the, the degrees of decline on this trend line that we would finally break through sometime in June, retest it as support, go up to the 702 retrace, about, you know, take some time, some wicks above that, but it'll take some time to break through that as, you know, be resistant. And then once we break through, we're off to the races. I mean, after that, August, who knows, maybe, oh man, I still have the, the drawing tool on here. August, September, October, November, whatever, you know, um, whatever that looks like. I mean, somebody asked me where I thought the total two crypto market cap was going to peak. And thinking about this, a 702 retrace, not a 702 retrace, excuse me, a $7 trillion market cap peak for Bitcoin would mean, for, for the total crypto market cap, would, would mean, so I, I have a $155,000 price target for Bitcoin, that's $3 trillion, that means that the, the rest of the altcoins would have to at least go to $4 trillion, but you've got to remember that Bitcoin will peak, usually it peaks before, um, before altcoins do, so maybe the day of the altcoin total uh, to crypto market cap peak would be three or four weeks after the Bitcoin peak, and Bitcoin would be at something like two and a half trillion dollars, and so maybe the total altcoin market cap at that point would be four and a half trillion dollars, something like that. Now, total two is the top 125 cryptos excluding Bitcoin, so let's just say that uh, you know the the rest of the altcoins get half a trillion, that would put us right at four trillion dollars in the total two, or if we, we want to focus on the fibs, maybe we would see something like a 2.618 retrace, which gives us a $3.8 trillion market cap. That's, that's uh, quite exciting. If it gets to that point, I believe that it will. There's, there's okay, 1.012, that's a little around a 4x, a little under a 4x in the total two. But you got to remember, I mean, that includes Ethereum, that includes some very large cryptocurrencies. I would expect some, some of your favorite cryptocurrencies, some of those plays, to far outperform the total two. Okay, but again, if we lose, if we lose support here, if we put in a lower low 
on the total two, then my base case is invalidated, and I do believe that the summer will be pretty rough. All right, some other things here. Just looking, this is back to Bitcoin now. Um, I'm taking this from another account, uh, T. Boyd Stun, T. Boydston. Um, look him up. I'm, you know, t type him in. I follow him. Um, this is a let me zoom out again, a Wyckoff reaccumulation schematic. And this was from a couple days ago, but you can see we're just following along the reaccumulation, a retest of the descending channel that we were in. I've already uh, acknowledged that, mentioned that. What comes next, you know, there's there's a couple levels higher, but and then potentially new highs. This, this chart, the way it's overlaid right now, would put new highs in Bitcoin in June, June to July, actually closer to July. And so if that were to happen, then we would see altcoins a little bit behind and then my total two projection here would work out perfectly so that's what i'm looking at right now i still very much believe that alt season is around the corner and um you know maybe in the moment i just want to remind you in the moment day by day it feels like a grind this is always always how it's going to be until my base case is invalidated this is what i believe is going to happen and that's where I stand. But I'd love to hear where, you, where you're standing with this. Now, I do want to remind you there are options for more uh, opportunities here. You can join the channel as a member if you do so. We, you will get access to those member-only live streams where we're focusing on trading a great deal. Also, if you want to utilize some trading opportunities that you may not have um, options for in the United States, you can get three months free of the Nord VPN. And then my recommendation would be to download uh, Bing X, and you can use my referral code there and get lots and lots of um, opportunities to earn free USDT, free crypto, and you can benefit from your trading journey on Bing X. But anyway, that is all I have for today. Just a reminder, yes, I do believe that nothing has changed from my video last week. And if I have to keep on making reminders for that, I will gladly do so. Until something changes, that is where I stand. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section. If you got any value from this video, please do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, turn on a notification button. I will be giving plenty of updates into where I think we are going with alt season in future videos. All right, that's all I have for today. Have a great weekend. I will see you next time. Peace.